So in the last video, we set up a Yarn workspace and we were able to use a common package that we made and use it in the web package. In today's video, we're going to use this common package that we created and use it in our app package, which is based on React Native. Now, getting Yarn workspaces and importing from our workspaces is actually a little tricky with React Native, and we're going to see why that is in a couple minutes as we kind of run into some of these issues and we'll deal with some of the workarounds to get it to work. So to start off though, we are going to just install or add uh, the dependency to our package.json in our React Native project. So I'm gonna say at wow slash common, that's just what I named it, and I'm gonna put version zero here. Uh, and then I can go to uh, the, I'm already in the packages app right here and I have yarn uh, to install that. Um, after that, in the app.tsx, I'm gonna just replace all this code that we have here with the uh, app. So I'm gonna delete this, delete this, delete this. And then the app is gonna be coming from uh, that common package. And then here, if I just say app, we can have this is what we want to render. Now, uh, if we tried just starting up the application right now, we'd actually get an error. Uh, we can try that if we want. So we can say yarn start, and it's gonna say cannot find module. Now, if we go to our package.json, we can see why that is. So it's trying to start the React Native CLI, and you'll notice the path it's looking for. Node modules, and then the React Native one. And if we just do an LS to see if that exists, React Native, we'll actually see that the file does not exist or the directory does not exist. And the reason for that is we are using a Yarn workspace. And so how Yarn workspaces work is they hoist up the modules. So what that means is it's actually sitting in our root directory. So if we do an LS and we go up two directories into that node modules and we look for the React Native package, you'll notice we will find it. That's because it was hoisted up. Uh, so we can avoid this problem. Um, because we basically want it in this current directly current directory. We could lift it up if we wanted to um, But I'm going to say uh, No hoist so this is a trick that you can use with yarn workspaces and how it works is we can specify either in the root directory um, We could use that or in the child directory, which we're going to be using uh, No hoist on the react native package. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it and my dev dependencies, or sorry, not my dev dependencies, but in the package.json at the bottom. And I'll link a link to this article. This kind of goes more in depth about how no hoist works. Uh, but basically what's gonna happen is the React Native uh, dependency, instead of being in the root node modules, it's gonna come down to the node modules that is in the app. Now, whenever I add a change like that, like I just added the no hoist option here, um, I like to just destroy the node modules and reinstall them because usually stuff gets messed up in the middle. Um, also, uh, I just saw this was being unsaved. I'm just going to save all right there. All right, so I'm going to do remove, um, and I'm going to remove RF, both the node modules that's in this current directory and also just the uh, root as well, just to be safe. Sometimes stuff gets uh, messed up. Now, the next problem we're going to hit is after we get this, it's going to be able to start up okay. Um, but what happens with Yarn Workspaces is to be able to access this common package and to be able to make changes to the common package uh, and not having to do a Yarn install every time is they use symlinks. Now, one of the downsides of React Native or one thing that doesn't work with React Native very well right now is symlinks. Uh, so what we're going to have to do is work around it. So one option to work around it, and that worked out real quick. We'll talk about how we're going to handle symlinks in a second. Let's just look if our node modules worked. So if I do an ls on this node modules slash react native, uh, you'll notice it's now here. So if I were to do a yarn start, it should uh, indeed start the packager. Uh, now the other thing I just want to mention is I have my... Uh, application up and running over here or my simulator and if I try to reload this right now it should have a problem yeah perfect well not perfect but here's the error uh, at wow slash common does not exist in the haste module map um, so this is where it can't basically get the sim link that we're using for that 
Now, uh, one thing I want to mention real quick is uh, to start up my simulator over there, I just did uh, Yarn iOS, which ran uh, this over here. Um, to start up the simulator. And the other thing is when I was starting it up, because I moved this into a different folder uh, when we were setting up the workspace, there's this iOS build folder right here that has a basically cached version of the build and it had the relative directories all messed up. So I had to delete this build folder to get that to work. So you may have to do the same thing if you were on Mac. I'm not sure if there's equivalent for Android. It doesn't look like it. All right, so, uh, so we started that. We need to handle this next error. Now, uh, I'm not sure the best way to handle Simlinks in React Native right now. I'm not sure if there's a standard way because the default bundler that comes with React Native, I don't believe works with it. Um, and there's a ton of open issues about it, so hopefully that'll be fixed soon. But one way that's super easy to fix it is this, this one library called WML. And basically what this does is we can just specify a directory. So for us, we're gonna specify the common directory and uh, it's gonna basically copy over the files every time we make a change. So we're gonna be using that. So if you don't have this already installed on your computer, you're just gonna run npm install uh, and it's gonna install globally. So after that, what we're going to do is uh, control C this uh, is we're going to say add and we're going to run this command right here. So we're going to go up a directory and get the common folder and then we're going to put it into our node modules at wow slash common. So you'll notice here, this is just the name of the package um, and here's where the local directory is. All right. So if I do add, uh, I'm going to say yes, ignore node modules. And then what I can do is WML start. So now what's going to happen is anytime I make a change in the common folder over there, it's going to copy over all the files. Um, and where it's going to copy is that node modules slash wow. If we take a look at that, we can see, um, funny enough, it looks like our app is here. I'm not sure why that's there. Um, slash common. And we can see our code is there. Now, uh, I don't actually want... Uh, it kind of looked pink there, and I don't want it to be pink because uh, that usually means it's a sim link. But uh, let's just see if this d d uh, fixed it. So uh, yarn start, and if it didn't, I'm just going to delete it and then recreate it. So let's reload this. Um, yeah, see, I didn't think it would, and I'm just going to let's do an ls on it again just to make sure um, okay when I do an LS here it showed it like that but if I did an LS here oh this is because I'm in the root directory that was just my bad all right let's come back over here so one thing I noticed about the error is it's coming from uh, react or it's coming from not being able to find the module react so what we can do is we can say no hoist on react as well as react native and that should be able to find it so i'm going to just copy paste this and i'm going to say react here instead of react native give that a save and then i'm just going to re remove the node modules and the parent reason being if i remove them locally it's going to destroy kind of our sim link setup or our wml setup so I'm just going to say the, uh, remove the root one and do yarn and uh, that should add it for us. And then when this is done, what we can do to double check this works is again, we can just do an LS on the node modules and make sure that is all there. Another thing is to make sure your WL or WML thing is working is you can go to uh, packages app. And if we do an LS there um, on common uh, oh, it's mine. Oh, I guess it deleted mine, even though I didn't want it to delete. All right, we can just restart it. So control C and we'll restart that. And let's come back over here. All right, so it exists. And if I go into dist, you should be able to see the index.js. That's all good because this is what we're actually importing is that index.js from the dist folder. So you want to make sure that's there. Um, and now we should have a node modules react. It should probably be done loading. Yeah. So I'm going to come back and just say yarn start and start up the packager and then get this running. 
All right, cool. So that looks like it's able to load now and we can increment so it is working. So as you can see, it's a little tricky to get this set up, uh, but the gist of it is we had to no hoist some things. So bring some modules down. So in our case, we had to do React Native and React. And then after that, the other tricky part is making sure that the packages that we're using are symlinked, or in this case, we didn't want them symlinked. Um, so we had to bring them over uh, by using WML. And to do that, we said add, and then we say start, which actually moves them over. Now, whenever we make changes to the comment, it should move it over. So we don't need to do anything there as long as we have this up and running. The other thing is if we were to add more packages we wanted to depend on, we'd have to do WML add. Now, there are some other ways to achieve this same thing, I believe. Um, in the past, I've played around with, uh, I believe it's called like React Native Config or something, where you can kind of get it. Um, I don't know if that solves the symlink problem or if it solves the no hoist problem, uh, but one of those. But it can be a little harder to set up um, where this is not too bad to set up. So I figured we'd start here. And then if we run into more problems, we can investigate that uh, later. Uh, and then the, the only other thing is uh, as we program stuff in the future, we're going to be basically just doing stuff in the common folder. And then the app should be getting the updates and the web should be getting the updates at the same time. And I'm pretty much just going to focus on what it looks like on the web just because it's a lot easier to uh, get set up and to also just view it and watch the renders in real time versus React Native. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.